the women of Jackson State University just went undefeated once again for this past week. You know what I'm saying? Continuing their dominance and swag play. So I told you what we're going to do. Whenever they have an undefeated week in the swag, we're going to strike up the motherfucking band. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Coach to make a read. We got already said, Coach of the year. That shit on me. Amisha Williams. Holiday. I got to say your whole name. Grab come out, please. Days of Rose. My girl got hurt against Fan Hill. The whole team still put it on. Against Williams. What a hope. I got a club open. That's the whole open. If you ain't paying attention, Jack State beat the brakes off of FAMU, uh, 90 to 34. That was on the road. Uh, came back home uh, today as I take on Saturday. Whooped up on Grambling, 81 68. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, but actually, that Grambling game was tough. You know what I'm saying? That Grambling game was tough, but I'm going to get into that real quick. Run these numbers for you. Uh, from that fam, you gain real quick. Like, before we get into that grambling game, the grambling game actually uh was quite interesting because all these other games been uh, you know, what I'm saying just ass whippers, you know, what I'm saying, but that one was actually uh competitive. But in that uh, fam, you blowout, of course, Misha with another double double 21 and 11, you know, what I'm talking about uh, look it, she had 13 and four, you know, what I'm saying. Uh, Covington dropped 14. Uh, like I said, though, Rogan got hurt in this game. She only played 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? And in those 15 minutes, she was able to get uh, seven points on two of nine uh, shooting. Okay? So, with the reigning swag player of the year, only playing 15 minutes, you know what I'm saying, and getting hurt, you still had one, two, three, four girls in double figures, and you still – Damn, they'll bust the clock on. You know what I'm talking about? So then you go to the Grambling game, uh, which was interesting, because actually we were down at the end of the first quarter. We were down uh, at the end of the second quarter. Grambling was out. They were ready to play, okay? They were playing with energy. Uh, they, were, they were not hesitant to shoot that motherfucker. I, I will tell you that. Uh, they had this young lady, Coleman. Last name Coleman. Uh, she went seven for 14 and bust four out of seven tray balls. You know what I'm talking about? So she was uh pulling that motherfucker. She ended up with 18 points at a young lady, uh, Hope. She's a guard. She ended up with 16 points, but that was on five or 18 shooting. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, so they played hard. You know what I'm talking about? Their head coach, uh, <clears throat> is a graduate of Jackson State. You know, y'all see how that is? A lot of these uh folks that uh, um played at Jackson State and they go coach somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? They they, they be really uh, doing a good job. And that's a good thing if ever Jackson State needs coaching, you know what I'm talking about? Because obviously these folks gonna want to come home. You know what I'm talking about? So we love to see them do good in other places, you know what I'm talking about? We, but we love to come out on top. Uh, uh, Co coach Dancy comes to mind up there at Mississippi Valley in football, you know what I'm talking about? But uh, back to basketball. Rogan didn't play in the Grambling game, okay? So I said they played tough, but you were without the reigning swag uh, player of the year in this game. And as I watched, uh, I know the brother who was uh, calling the game with uh, Rob J, he was, you know, uh, Rob J asked him, you know, do you think that was going to make a difference in the game with not having uh, Rogan? You know, and that brother just like nonchalant with it. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't going to worry. And at the end of the day, they did end up winning by 13. But come on, man. She's reigning swag player of the year. That, that's going to have a little effect. Uh, in the, and especially in college basketball where, yes, Jackson State is dominant on the inside uh, with Amisha. Like, that's one thing uh, Coach Reed going to make sure that she does. She going to get you a post-touch, post-players. 
if you want to make sure if you're dominant on that block, okay, you better watch some tape on Jackson State and see how Coach Reed makes sure Amisha gonna get that rock. You know what I'm talking about? Come Jackson State, but uh, you still gotta have good guard play. Still gotta have good guard play, and uh, we end up getting that. We end up getting that. Like I said, uh, Lucky ended up with 16 points. You know what I'm saying? So we needed that in the absence of uh days of roll, you know, tonight it was on three of ten shooting, but she was two or five from Trey Ball. That's 40 percent. And she was eight uh for eight from the line. You know what I'm saying? Talking about so we definitely needed that. And she had uh six assists to go with that. So Lucky did her part. Crump had four. Look, look, this is stat line. I fuck with Crump. I told y'all, Crump got that dog in her. You understand? Crump got that motherfucking dog in her. Crump had 14, four boards, five assists, two steals, and four blocks. Okay? Dog. Uh, Wooden, she had 13 and 10 boards, one steal, and three blocks. Okay? So, we still got production out of these other ladies uh, without Rogan. We still had four uh ladies in double figures you know what i'm talking about and that tells a story you got a team it's not one player it's a team effort you know what i'm saying so that was good to see them get tested a little bit and see them overcome that uh obviously coach reed went in there halftime gave them the word and they made their adjustments and they came out handled business they uh took over in the third quarter and didn't look back here's where i want to go I see this woman has won back to back swag ch championship. To my coach Reed. See the current team dominate. Okay? Dominate. I saw them win a game today against a feisty grambling team without their second best player. Telling y'all now, I don't know how much money she makes. Jack State better up that bag for Coach Reed. And we, the people, the fan base, we better up that love for Coach Reed before she end up leaving about this motherfucker. See, all the speculation always about Coach Prime leaving. Common sense. Understandably so. Okay? It was shocking that he came in the first motherfucking place. So, of course, with uh, the football team turning up like they are and uh, him especially recruiting the way he is, uh, him being the celebrity that he is, it makes sense that people are speculating uh, about his future, okay? Shit, no matter what show I watch, uh, motherfuckers talking about, oh, he'll – this school ought to give him a shot. Ah, shit. Last week I heard somebody say uh, Dallas Cowboys should hire him. So I get it. But somebody better pay attention to this woman. Okay? Because if I was one of these presidents at a PWI in the so-called Power Five, I'll be looking at her, okay? Because she has that kind of juice. Does she have the name that Don Staley has? Hell no. Don Staley is one of the greatest basketball players of all time, okay? Uh, but does she have the juice? Does she utilize social media? Does she recruit her ass off? Does she know the game of basketball? Is she passionate? Shit. Go read, check out those boxes. You know what I'm saying? So if you one of these PWIs and you got a fan base that really fuck with women's basketball and you're trying to get your shit jumping for real, for real, with somebody who has proven that they can coach, uh, that maybe your program has more dollars. If I was a president of those institutions, I'd be all over this. And since I know that, since I feel that way, I'm saying to us, 
as the fan base. You see that sister online, give us some kind words. Let them know that we fucking appreciate her. You know what I'm talking about? You, you, you scrolling, you see something she say come across that motherfucker, you know what I'm talking about, that you agree with. I ain't saying be fake or nothing, you know what I'm talking about? Shit, just let her know. You know what I'm saying? Cause we appreciate you. You know what I'm talking about? After these ass whippings that the uh, ladies are handing out, shit, add her, let her know. Coach, I appreciate that. You know what I'm talking about? Because these are bragging rights. I know we, we brag about the football game, but shit, we ought to be bragging about these ass whippings that are getting handed out too. You know what I'm talking about? We got, we got to do that. We got to do that. You know what I'm saying? And, and we got to contribute. You know what I'm saying? You got some uh, spare change. You know what I'm saying? Some extra cash. Don't just blow it. You know what I'm saying? We ought to be contributing to the institution. We got to be contributing to uh, not only Jack State shit, the, the K-12 as well, but that's a whole other thing. I'll get into that another time. But, you know, you, you got to support the school financially as well. If I'm saying they got to up the bag, if I'm saying they got to up the bag, well, they need the bag to be able to do that. They need the bag to be full. Okay? So I'm telling you right now, one of the best ways to contribute is uh, purchase an all-sports pass for uh, the JSU Network. Okay? Uh, that's how I've been able to keep up with all of their home games. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when they're on the road, luckily I've been able to catch them on YouTube with these other schools and stuff like that. But for $60, you can catch uh, all the Jack State home games. And like I said, it's for all sports. So if you uh, fuck with one of the other sports coming after basketball, they don't do football. Okay, so pretty much all the other motherfucking sports. $60, you can watch all of them. At your leisure, okay. For instance, I missed the game earlier today, but I watched it afterwards because it just saved in there. You know what I'm saying? Add up that sixty dollars amongst this big ass fan base that we got. You know what I'm saying? And that goes a long way to helping the program. You know what I'm saying? Just one of the many ways you can contribute. Cause we got to keep this woman here. We got to keep this shit. Cause I feel it coming. I'm telling y'all. I, I, I feel it coming. I'm telling you. I feel it. We gonna get Daphne White is, is a five star already, so we got a five star with the program. She hasn't played suited up for it yet, but we got one. Okay, but that was a transfer. We gonna get a girl out of high school, five star athlete. One of these girls, one of these little mixtapes and shit like that. We we gonna get one of those. Okay. She's going to have the AC jumping. I'm telling you, okay? But we need Coach Reed there to make it happen, all right? So Jack Stay got to up the bag, and we got to up the love, you know what I'm talking about, to make sure she doesn't dip out on our ass. You feel me? Put it on some. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me across all social media platforms, like the videos, and share them. Did I forget anything? And turn on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit StatementTeesLLC.com and shop with us. That's StatementTees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.